My name is Ford Blanchard. This is Erskine Junior Women's Golfer Krista Chalice, and this is Fleet Vision. You're from New Brunswick, Canada. The burning question everyone wants to know, how did you find Due West, South Carolina from Canada? Um, originally, I was planning on coming to visit three other schools within Conference Carolinas, and uh, at the last minute, Jason Allen contacted me and asked me to come take a visit in uh, Due West, South Carolina. So uh, I agreed, and after taking a t tour of uh, Erskine College, I, I knew there was something special about the school as well as the town. Can you talk a minute about how the Erskine Golf Program is a good fit for you individually? Yeah, absolutely. Um, here at Stony Point Golf Course, I have all the facilities I need in, in order to improve my game on a daily basis. As well, um, Coach Allen and Patrick are always willing to help me uh, at practices and on the golf course at tournaments. Last year as a sophomore, you were voted team captain, and you're also team captain this year. There were Last year when you were voted team captain, there was older girls on the team. Can you speak to what that meant to you to be voted team captain and what that says about your leadership abilities? Yeah, it was uh, it was definitely a surprise to be named team captain my sophomore year, but I mean, that's always an honor. Um, I've had leadership experiences in the past as I was team captain of my softball team and hockey team in, in high school. Um, what I've learned is being a leader is all about just being yourself and being there for your teammates when they need you most. and. Uh, as a leader, I, I really try to carry myself in a positive way and represent Erskine to the best of my abilities uh, on the golf course and in the classroom. Oh, that's an excellent answer, Krista. Um, can you talk about the progression of the women's golf team over the past three years since your freshman year till now your junior year? Yeah, absolutely. Um, Coach Allen has done a really great job of uh, recruiting some impressive athletes. Um, we have local players from South Carolina as well as international students. Um, all the girls come to the golf course uh, with high expectations for themselves and are always ready to practice and get better every day. Um, that's really led to um, improved team scores and has led to some recent wins in, in the past. Quick note, the Erskine women's golf team has actually finished up their season for the fall and they finished first out of eight teams at the Anderson Invitational, second out of seven teams at the Bristol Invitational, the King College Invitational. Um, they went to Myrtle Beach Intercollegiate where they finished fifth out of 20 teams and then they went up to Salisbury Country Club and played in the Patsy Riddleman where they finished 11th out of 15 teams, Krista? Yeah. That's correct. Um, so I want you to talk about how exciting was it to get that first win at Anderson? Uh, it, was, it was very exciting to get that first win at Anderson, um, especially because we had won the tournament uh, the year before as well. So our main goal was to go back and defend our title. Um, after the first day, we were tied for first place with Milligan College. So we knew that we'd have to put up some good scores on the second day in order to regain the title. And uh, fortunately, we followed our game plan and came home with the win. So enough about the team for a minute, Chris. Let's talk about your success. After the first round at the Anderson Invitational where Krista shot a 79, she has not shot higher than a 74. I, I want to get this right. She finished. Uh, so far the fall season with rounds of 72, 72, 73, 73, 73, 74, and 74, the highs being the 74. Can you talk about the strengths of your game and how, how you've been so consistent throughout the fall? Absolutely. Um, I think my consistency has really come from an improvement in my mental game. Uh, I really try to focus on playing golf one shot at a time. Um, I find when when you look ahead at what could be the final outcome of round, that's when things start to go wrong. So I definitely try to just play against par and uh, focus on each one shot at a time. And um, I'd say the the strengths of my game is definitely my power. Um, you know, uh, I go to golf courses and hit the ball longer than most girls. Sometimes um, longer than some of the guys on the team, almost <laughs> at times, right? Yeah. So um, I mean, that that's helpful because. Um, a lot of par fives are reachable in two for me, or if it's a par four, I just have a little wedge into the greens. I was there in Bristol, Tennessee when Krista won the King Invitational. Um, I was up there on the 18th greens when she had a, what was it, like a four footer for par to close it out to beat King's Elizabeth Swallow by two shots. Can you talk, talk about how much pressure that was to close out the round, especially with 
Elizabeth who finished Eagle Birdie to try to chase down Krista right at the end. Yeah, uh, that, that was a very exciting tournament. Um, it was definitely special to get my, my first win. It's, it's great to see all, all my hard work pay off. Um, so yeah, after the first day, I was, I was tied with Elizabeth uh, Swallow from King, who's an exceptional golfer. She, uh, she won our conference championship last year, so I knew I had my, my work cut out for me on the second day. Um, I really went out there, just tried to play against par, and uh, I ended up having a five-stroke lead with three holes left to play. And like you said, Elizabeth finished uh, Eagle Birdie, which definitely got the nerves going for me. But um, fortunately, I was able to finish par par um, to keep a two-stroke lead and get the win. All right, Krista, you're known around Conference Carolina as the girl who can hit it a mile. Can you give you know uh, um, our viewers some tips to see how you hit it so far? Absolutely. Um, I find uh, a lot of golfers, they think power in the golf swing just comes from your arms, which isn't true. Um, when you get to the top of your backswing, I find what's, what's really important is just to really shift your weight forward by um, rather than just using your arms. Get a, get a full uh, body turn by using by timing up your shoulders as well as your hips. And when you get that weight through and make contact with the ball, that's really where your power comes from. Well, hopefully uh, none of the teams you play against picked up on any of those tips. <laughs> but um, anyway, we want to thank Stony Point Golf Club here in Greenwood, South Carolina for allowing us to be out here and uh, shoot today the, this Fleet Vision episode. Um, this is where the men and women's team practice on a daily basis. And uh, we want to thank um, the people here at Sunny Point for allowing us to do that. This has been another episode of Fleet Vision. I'm Ford Blanchard. This is Krista Schaus. And until next time, we'll see you later. Go Fleet.